Welcome back to the report. This week, our Genesis science question comes from Roland on YouTube. Roland says, atheist here, if God spoke the universe into existence some 6,000 years ago, has there been any progress from creation scientists as to how this actually happened? That is, how does an invisible, non-physical entity speak? And how does such speaking cause a universe, stars, planets, and life to come into existence when they did not exist beforehand? Thank you for the question, Roland. I appreciate the message. You are trying to explain the origin of the universe using universal physics and laws. You've actually fallen into this trap of basically diving into the mystery that most scientists avoid, especially on the naturalistic side of things. Because you see, it's actually impossible to explain the origin of matter from a naturalistic perspective. That means that you would actually have to create matter from nothing which breaks scientific laws, like the laws of thermodynamics. Uh, we can't even begin to explain the origin of the universe from a natural perspective without using pseudo-scientific principles, saying that magically science broke its own rules. But now let's look at things from a biblical perspective. What if there is someone outside of the universe? What if this person who is outside of the universe, this entity outside of the universe, decided, hey, I will create a universe for everyone to live in. I will create mankind. I will create matter. I will create stars, galaxies, and so forth and so on. And he has the power to do this. All right, well, all of a sudden, universal laws don't apply. Now, you may say, well, David, that's appealing to supernatural deities. I would say absolutely. But that is what we read in the biblical creation narrative. When you look at it from a naturalistic point of view, you have to uh, basically point to supernatural deities to explain the origin of matter, the origin of the first life, the origin of so much of what the universe is, and then the origin of the laws and physics that govern the universe. Did it all just happen by chance and all happen to perfectly, calculably come together? Well, if so, how? And how do you explain it via science? Because science tells us that life only comes from living things. So where's the first life form? You have to break a scientific law. You have to, you have to believe and point to supernatural, magical origins to create life from non-life from a naturalistic point of view. And then you have to believe in supernatural magical origins or basically your own deities to create a universe of matter from nothing at all. When we look at someone outside of the universe able to manipulate the laws, actually creating the laws of the universe, it's no surprise that he could speak and things would exist. Don't forget to share your questions with us on social media, or you can email them to comments at genesissciencenetwork.com. To learn more about this week's Q&A topic, check out this week's featured resource, Creation Basics and Beyond by multiple PhD scientists. Now, fortunately, you don't need a doctorate in science to understand the basic lines of scientific evidence that surrounds the creation evolution controversy, nor do you need a theological degree to understand the basic theology and the moral implications of creation. It's written and reviewed by experts. Creation Basics and Beyond offers a thorough introduction to the basic questions involved in the creation versus evolution debate. This book demonstrates that not only does the scientific evidence contradict evolutionary dogma, but it also confirms the biblical account of creation. Creation Basics and Beyond clearly shows that the Bible really is what it claims to be, the inspired word of the living God. You can pick up your copy at the Creation Superstore or by visiting creationsuperstore.com.